I wasn't planning on making one of these. Um, it's certainly not part of my armies on parade build. Um, but uh, I've got a few days spare now and uh, I, I fancy still doing something a bit orky. So I've gone out and got me a, a mech gun, which is operated by those pesky little grots. Looks a lot of fun and especially fun. You're given what, four options. You can have the custom mega cannon, which I don't like the look of. There's something about that I don't like. The smasher gun, it's mm, a bit, no, nah, don't know. Something about that grabber arm thing. That one's all right, but the one I do like is the bubble chucker. Although I haven't said that, I don't like the color scheme on the ball there, but this is a bubble chucker. And basically it's a weapon which fires bubbles, if you like. Um, um, and the strength and uh, what the ability of the bubbles do is entirely random. So when you fire it, you roll a, a D3, which is, you know, you roll a dice and a, a one and a two is a one, two and a three, sorry, three and a four is a two, five and a six is a three, right? And uh, that all affects the, uh, the strength and potency of this weapon. And I like the randomness of of the orcs and grots. Um, it's just a lot of fun doing this army after decades of doing Nurgle and the seriousness and grimness of Nurgle. Um, so yeah, so that's the one I'm gonna be doing. You get these, this nice crew that come with it, all right? So this is an unboxing, something I, I, I saw, I can't believe it, but you see that on the rear, there's a computer screen with a, a green on black graphic. That looks like a decal to me, but I can't believe that they've included a decal just for that. Somebody has painted that, and whoever that is, I tip my hat to you, sir. Um, that is a good bit of painting. So this is the unboxing. All I've done is, um, I've undone the cellophane. Uh, it's, in English money, 32.50. Um, I might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere online but I was in town and as I say I needed my fix of orky goodness so I went into my local shop um 32.50 but look 1-1 one, one scale so it's not going to be very big and it's not a big box so let's see what's in here shall we right that's not the most interesting of shots for you hang on one second right let's dump it out and have a look so Yep, that's everything. So, bag of, we got enough? Oh yeah, we got enough. Bag of bases. Um, one sprue, grots and gun. There's the bubble chuck a bit. He's quite small. Um, I already know what I'm doing color wise for this. This is of course bad moons, so there's gonna be yellow in it. But what I'm doing is, it's going to be predominantly predominantly grey with um, yellow panels, but this I'm going to do in copper and have a ton of verdigris on it, so that's nice and colourful. In fact, thinking about it, if I make it bright enough, the blue green of verdigris, it might I can actually maybe try and you know suggest a big bubble. All right, so yeah, two sprues. That's the rest of it. There we go. So, decal sheet or no decal sheet? I doubt it. It's just a paint job in it. So, here we go. The usual baffling computer generated instructions. This bit's very uh, World War One. All right, and then choose the variant you want to build. And that's my fella there. All right. So it's gonna leave me a lot of spare parts, which is always nice. Yeah, yeah, I can use these, especially. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, it shouldn't be a, a, a very long build. As I say, I've got a few days. Uh, it's leading up to my birthday, don't you know? And um, I have put uh, on my wish list some Games Workshop things. So I'm thinking if I can get this done by my birthday, 
Um, that would be nice because then I can just move on to the next one. If I don't get anything for my birthday, I'm going to think, oh, bloody hell, why did I rush it? So uh, let's return with him built. All right, so everything uh, built and primed. Now, this has been a bit odd in that it's very unusual for Games Workshop to cock up, but uh, there are a number of things. Let me see if I can remember. Uh, we have problems where um, on the grots, the numbers didn't correspond with the actual number of the part on the sprue. That was one thing. Uh, what else was it? Um, something around here wasn't mentioned at all. All right. Uh, I can't remember which one now, but there was something around here was a bit of a puzzler because something on here didn't have a part number. I think that was that. And then what was the other thing? There was something else. I promise. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go back. Um, this fella. See him? Him who's got the cable drum. Let me get him off with a thing. This fella. All right. This barrel is a two-part piece. All right. You can see the seam line there. It's a two-part piece. According to the instructions, it's one, two, three. No, four parts. Very unusual for Games Workshop to make mistakes in their instructions. And there are a couple other things, but I can't remember. Anyway, so, all primed. Um, now, primer. Quick mention about the primer. I usually use, and if you're in the UK, you'll know this, uh, a, a, a shop called Halfords, which is a car shop. Uh, car, car supply shops, whether it's you know accessories or or, or repair stuff and stuff, um, and I use their grey primer, which is fantastic. Um, it goes on incredibly well and it sticks to anything because it you know it's an industrial primer, fabulous stuff. But it's getting very expensive. What with you know the recession looming and everything, and my friend Ian had recommended using um, grey primer from Poundland, which is a real budget shop over here. And uh, I went and got some. And um, yeah, um, it's a third of the price of Halfords. Um, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, if you go off and get any, um, you've got to wear a breath mask um, and not just a, you know, a COVID paper one. You need a proper breath mask because it stinks to high heaven, even outside. And I was outside, uh, out there, um, spraying, and um, God, oh, God, blooming heck, the fumes. Um, but uh, it's good stuff. It goes on very well. And what I like about it, and I'm hoping you can make that out, I think you can, is it's not a standard grey. It's got a bit of green in there. And I really like that. So on the actual, you know, uh, gun itself, I'm going to mainly keep it that grey. I mean, this is going to be my base coat. Um, it, it's really nice. I'm going to be putting some non oil in there and, and beat it up. And of course, as I say, I'm going to be putting on some coppery things and we've got all the cables. And also on the front here, because it's bad moons, we're going to have some yellow going on. All right. So that's that. Oh, let, let's just show you the back of him as well. The detail is really, really good. Um, yeah, the... Um, that guy, oh, there we go. That guy did draw a, a graph on that screen because there's no decal. So uh, top work, top work. I like the keyboard as well. You see the keyboard, there, there, there's actually keys missing off the keyboard. Really nice attention to detail. And I also like, if you can see down here, um, you don't really get in most models any sort of like nod to the fact that something's really heavy but you do hear in that the the tires are sagged because this thing is just so heavy um, and the other thing about the uh, about the gun and I don't know why they've done it but uh, yeah you don't you don't glue it so you can tilt it up and down but I don't understand why you would want to tilt it up and down 
it's not like you know it fires better if it's tilted up and therefore you've got to show your opponent what it's doing but uh, you know it's a, it, it, it's a working uh, feature so I'm keeping it and so yeah they're in Poundland grey primer the grots though are in um, white and that's because I use contrast paints now to do their uh, skin it's a lot lot easier and, uh, and and the result is a lot better than what I would normally do so these guys are in white and uh, shortly I'm gonna start adding uh, the contrast paints Ooh. skin tones are done on the little fellas like so it was a nice cheat not having to do anything on him um, and the basic coats on the gun this is just pushed in for the moment I'm going to take that out for the rest of the painting like so all right and the brown bits are for uh, the copper I always like to base copper in brown it seems to go on a lot better so next some known oil for the metallics and the gray and um, Agrax Earth Shade for the yellows and very watered down Agrax Earth Shade for the whites. And more progress. So, yep, just uh, carrying on, putting their close. This is always the boring bit. I like doing the skins on grots, but the, the clothing is always a bit dull. Um, they that they're pretty much all wearing vests, so uh, I'm just going to have them in John McLean diehard white vests. Okay, you know. and then yeah. So I've applied the uh, the watered down non oil on the whites, heavier wash on the metallics, watered down. Um, Agrax Earth Shade all over the yellows. I'm going to go in stronger bits. And also, what I'm doing now is I'm picking out all the little rivets in gun metal. Not all of them. I'm going to keep these ones on the teeth uh, white. And I'm just going to go around them with um, rust. And that's going to be the next step is uh, the rusting and the weathering. Oh, I forgot the, the gun. So yeah, the bits I painted brown are now longer, now no longer brown. Um, still gonna have them in. Um, um, what's the word for it? Oh, you know what I mean. When copper goes bluey, that verdigris. There we go. Uh, these are going to be verdigris still, and um, yep, just picking out details here and there. But uh, yeah, the. Most fun part next for me is um, putting some rust on. And here we go. Bubble chucker all done. Great fun this. I've, I've, I've had a really good uh, time playing around with this. Um, yeah, as I said at the very beginning, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be but it's got a charm about it and I like the the rules for it um, how unpredictable it can be you can fire a bubble out of it and it could obliterate your foes or it could be like a, a rather feeble slap in the face so yeah there we go another unit for my army on parade it's going to look a bit small compared to some of the other things, but uh, had great fun doing it.